The Maldives seems to have imposed a quiet ban on the employment of Indian nationals. The Maldivian government has dismissed reports of this ban, while India is checking with its mission in Mali. But it is another indication of the serious downturn in relations between the two capitals. We on Sidhan Sibyl reports. Indian nationals hoping to work in the Maldives take note. They are not welcome in the island nation. A ban on their employment has been in force for the last three months and it came to light through a post on LinkedIn, the well-known social media site for professionals. The post was from Alexander Blair, general manager of the St. Regis Maldives Bumili Resort. It said and I quote, the Maldives' finest address has an opportunity for an outstanding Indian speciality chef. Unfortunately, with the current situation that work permits are not being granted to Indian nationals, we are idly searching for an Indian who is holding another passport or is the spouse of a Maldivian." Unquote. The Maldivian embassy in Delhi has refused to comment on the matter while the spokesman for the Maldives Immigration Service dismissed the ban report as completely false. India's External Affairs Ministry said it was checking with its mission in Mali, but the implications of the ban, if confirmed, are serious. The Indian community of 22,000 is the second largest expatriate group in the Maldives. It comprises blue-collar workers and professionals like accountants, nurses, engineers and managers. Of Maldives' 400 doctors, around 125 are Indian nationals. Similarly, 25% of teachers comprise Indian nationals. Besides this, on an average, 60,000 Indian tourists visit Maldives every year. There is traffic in the reverse direction also. As Maldivians come to India for educational purposes, medical treatment, recreation and business. The number of Maldivians seeking long-term visas for pursuing higher studies and medical treatment in India has shown a sharp increase over the last two years. Relations between the two capitals have worsened since Maldives' President Abdullah Yamin took power in 2013 and began building close ties with China. He imposed a state of emergency which was not lawfully done and has jailed former President Kayum and the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. India is concerned the September elections will be neither free nor fair. It's the first time people-to-people -people contacts between India and Maldives have been affected. It suggests that deterioration in ties at the official level is undermining other aspects of the relationship. The Indian government has refused to react until it gets a formal word from its mission in Mali. Siddhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi.